We are Saturday morning. Uh, the lads are all at breakfast. It's about half past eight. Um, we start at half nine on the Saturday morning. Battle of Borodino uh, using the Black Powder, second edition, and the Clash of Eagles, or should I say a Clash of Eagles supplement. Um, there's a few local amendments, but uh, on the whole, that's what we're using. Um, third core down at this end of the table. Take it to the Prussian line. And your titsa. The little kapok clumps denote that the unit's fired, quite simply, because what these lads are doing is uh, firing before movement, so that's one of the amendments. And obviously if you fire, that impacts on your movement. And we have the fourth core, Italians. And the Westphalians from the eighth, eighth core. There's the fleshes. Which they've got the artillery batteries in. We're using four gun batteries for the Russians, foot artillery, and three gun batteries for their horse. And the French have three gun batteries for their horse and foot. Village of Borodino, Kolodzha River, the Semenyovska dry riverbed of the Semenyovska stream in front of the Great Redoubt there, with the wolf pits, or rifle pits in front. And here we have Davu in the centre there, along with, on this flank. Pondotovsky is um, trying to make a flank march. Uh, he's not arrived yet. But this is only Saturday morning, so he'll arrive at some point on Saturday, at the other end of the table there. And what the chaps have done, they've, um, Steve Butler's done all the hard work on creating this. It's a weekend he wanted to bring all his guys from the Sunday tape. The Sunday Afternoon Tea Cake Club. I think I've got that right, Steve. So, we've got the formation. This is for the 3rd Cavalry Corps. Obviously, the number of figures per regiment. And then we've got uh, the stat line for it, which reflects special rules and their stat line. And one of the quick reference sheets. Still produced for the battle. Join it from this side. I'll do another video so you can see the fronts of the units because obviously that's the, the key here. Uh, some bold movement with Davout's corps here, France division, motoring ahead into the front line of the Russians. Got some Jaegers deployed in open order, artillery support. And of course you've got the back table with the reserve on it, and we've got the Grenadiers, the Guard, Grenadier divisions. But it was good use of the Pavlovskis. I know there were only three battalions, but hey, they do look really nice with their mitre caps. And the Chevalier Guard at the back there. Semenovska village, the damaged village. And the corps that's arriving, second corps.
So they had freedom of deployment. Um, so obviously, you, know, you can tell that from my narration of where they are on the battlefield there. So the 8th Corps is in the centre. Davu is on the French left wing, but either side of the Palocha, and looking to attack Borodino village and create a left hook. In the centre there, we've got the 4th Corps as well. Which is taking up approximately six feet of the table. And then down on the wings here, we've got Third Corps, supported by La Tour Malberg's Fourth Cavalry Corps, and the Third Cavalry Corps of Grouchy. And in reserve, we've got the First and Second Cavalry Corps there at the back. But as I said, I'll do some frontages of the bits of the. Uh, the units with my selfie stick. We'll come back to you with that in just a moment. <laughs> 